Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here with the Los Derivas, I think that's how you pronounce it, showdown. Anyway, this showdown is quite interesting because at 1200 we get a reward card, which is the fifth lock in for the final event. Now, the reality is many of us are not competing in the final event because there are too many cards that have to be won or you have to have just to get to this point. So, for example, I did not get the Havoc on this account, although I did on my main account, but um, my main account, I spend money, so it's different. On this account, I don't spend money, therefore, I have missed out on about three cars within the event that's going to be ultimately required. So, I'm not doing the finals, but I would like to get my hands on that Corvette, uh, since, you know, I did manage to get the uh, Mistress here uh, fully maxed by basically doing it as the second lock-in, opening up the crates early, and then just using the crates um, to get the final little bit in. But the struggle is when you get near that 1200. Anytime you start getting near that car, you start getting opponents that are faster than you. <clears throat> At least with the mistress, it's not, you know, I don't have the, I don't have to start in stripe one on this account either. So I can't even spend some effort to transfer anything so i've been kind of bouncing back and forth the highest i've gotten so far was right around 1700 and then a cam uh havoc um and then followed by that star and stripes and i think i had another loss three in a row bumped me right back down so basically at this point in the game it's still early in in the whole showdown yep days to go and if my goal is only to get that 1200 car I will be fine. I have plenty of time. Now, <clears throat> talking about using the Mistress versus the Camaro, why I picked this car over uh, the Dutch Boys Camaro, because this car, I can at least get fusions. The Dutch Boys Camaro, I just can't uh, get enough you know, fusions to max out, even if I want to spend some keys, versus this one, the primary struggle seems to be getting the Stage 6s, and once you get it, uh, fusions are much more plentiful in a sense because I can get them from Mustangs, I can get them from other ways. Another issue I found with the Mistress is that this car has a little bit of a funky launch uh, where it, if you don't get it just right, it'll stick the nitrous, meaning <clears throat> the best way to use the car is to if, get that needle drop launch, okay? That's easy to get because it, from a pretty wide range you get it. But if you don't get the right needle drop launch, you can't hit the nitrous right away. You get a what I call a sticky nitrous button. This happens a lot on my Android devices over the years. So I've come to hate any car that requires instant nitrous. This was true of when we did the Bugatti events um, a while ago. Some of the Bugattis required you to hit that nitrous the second you launch. And I just can't win with those particular cars. I ended up using, I think, the one Bugatti for showdown that didn't require you to launch in the first gear. And I actually got much further in that. Same issue with the Mistress. I forgot to really think into this before I decided to go ahead and uh, build this car as my primary showdown car for this. I didn't look carefully enough to make sure that I can get those launches consistently. Now, botching it, 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 it hurts you. Fortunately, the car doesn't change too much if you hit the nitrous a little bit later than a little bit earlier, but usually once you get closer to the more challenging races where things are supposed to matter, that little bit of a botched run can really cost you. So that's been kind of the issue. I've done quite a few races and I've been kind of bouncing back and forth, back and forth uh, since 1000 to 11 whatever. So notice here's where it's hard to find an opponent. And when I finally find one, it's usually somebody who's going to beat me. So <clears throat> that's been kind of the thing that's been happening. All right, all right. So 34 points is what I need if I beat this guy and I get 34 points. I'll have a chance. Uh-oh. Oh, and I screwed it up because my mouse got caught on my headphone wire just a second ago, and I'm going to lose this race. This is, unfortunately, the way things work uh, when you're trying to do showdown is right when you get close is when fate likes to intervene and screw you up a little bit. So I kind of botched that run because my mouse was not sitting flat and I was trying to adjust it and the countdown started. So back to 1140 
and I had a great shot there of actually getting it uh, with that guy. I probably could have beaten his run if I did it just right. Um, uh, the good news is I might have helped him get his car, so I guess, you know, I could feel good about that. All right, now, <clears throat> 11.40 it is, so let's go back and let's see if I can find somebody. Again, this is, I'm doing something which you would always struggle is I'm trying to get to the 1,200 on the first day, right? If I was doing this on day 10, this will be easy, but when you're doing it on the first day, it's a lot more difficult. All right, let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, so again, I think we both had a slight issue with that launch, but mine probably ended up slightly better than his. Being that close, it's always hard to tell because sometimes you look like you're slightly ahead and you still lose, but good. That was a win, a barely squeezed out win. 44 points still puts me back at 1182. Now I only need about 18 points, but I need a win, right? So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I don't get a Cam Havoc or a, a Stars and Stripes car or even the Valkyria. Um, I'm just hoping it's another one of my type of car or this. I'll take this. This this I can possibly beat. It really depends on how good this guy drives, though. Whew. All right, here we go. Launch. Nitrous was late again. This is going to be tough. I may He may ca catch up. Watch him come at the end here real hard. Good. He didn't. I got it. All right. All right. Whew. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, man. You don't know how happy this makes me. Um, the struggle I did on my main account to get this Corvette. I, I didn't even want to record it. I was so frustrated. Um, so some glitches that are happening um, for Android users, it seems uh, some of us are having problems, and, and some iOS guys too, with the Havoc. Even though you have it, even if it's built, um, it seems to be losing trophies when you're racing it. I don't know why. Um, I couldn't get out of the initial 400 points. Um, I was going backwards to zero. So I ended up switching that car out and started using the Mistress. But earlier in the morning, it was a lot tougher to use the Mistress to try to get where you need to go. So I'm going to jump back to Lobby so I can collect that Corvette because I'm not going to lose this points now. So hang on here while I jump back. All right, back in Lobby, let's collect the Corvette. Now, this account, I knew I wasn't going to get the NASCAR, and I don't have the Havoc. And it doesn't hurt my feelings that much, but I really wanted the Corvette because um, I like it. Uh, it's the uh, new car that I actually really like, um, the CA Corvette. So I want to get this car, um, and this makes my day, basically, for this account. This was my goal. I don't need the top uh, 10,000, which I doubt I'm going to get with the Mistress. Uh, what I'm just focused on is just getting this one, the gray one. And I'll go ahead and try to shoot for it the top uh, 10,000 over the next 11 days with my main account, we can always go back and visit that. But this is a uh, very cool looking car, race car Corvette C8. Um, the downside to this, of course, is uh, this car, we don't know if it's any good. It, if you had actually uh, been set up with all your other lock-ins, you can actually get to the final event, uh, but I don't, so I won't be doing the final event. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is finishing, see I locked in the uh, mistress to get that thing maxed, and from there on I'm stuck, because I don't actually have this car. Now I could buy it I'm sure, but um, I'm not paying real money on more than one account, so basically I'm stuck once I finish the uh, second lock-in on this, that's the end of my trek here with uh, the uh, San Francisco for now. Uh, now, I do have a chance, oh, or do I? No, I don't have a chance to finish LA Builders because, uh, again, I'm missing cars. It's not this one. I do have the 30. I, I'm still working on it, so I could get a little further. But there is this lock-in, which I don't have. Um, I didn't manage to pull with Go Keys, the regular GT. Therefore, I didn't get a chance to win the Heritage. And that's that. Or I have to buy this, and I'm not going to buy it. So... So I'm not getting the Havoc, I'm not getting the NASCAR, but I got the Corvette, so I'm happy enough. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, the Mistress isn't a bad choice, and even on the first day, I was able to get to 1,200. And, you know, the, the 
um, Dutch Boys Camaro is the same way. They're actually very close to each other in performance, but I think if you can get that nitrous to kick in, uh, you'll do better with the uh, mistress over the Dutch Boys. And also, again, Ford Fusion's a little bit easier to get overall than Chevy Fusion's. All right, well, that was my little quick uh, video on the current showdown. Uh, again, a little buggy due to the uh, main car uh, that is supposed to be the best. Um, if you have the uh, Valkyrie, I guess it's how you call that, you should build that because that is essentially one of the fastest as well. It'll run 7.0 something uh, consistently, so that'll put you above all the mistresses and all that stuff. But it won't uh, have you beat either the cam or the, uh, if somebody already finished the finale, the uh, NASCAR. But generally speaking, you won't be facing those cars too often, at least not at this point. Well, good luck this season uh, with acquiring the Corvette, and uh, good luck this season if you're going straight for the actual finale to try to get the NASCAR. I will be doing that on my main account, so uh, look for that video in the coming days. I would like to get all my cars set up before I tackle that. That's why I'm not making a video at this point. All right, well, let me know what your experience is with uh, this current showdown. And if you got the Corvette built, uh, let me know how, how it drives. Do you like it? Uh, I'm going to do some testing. I'll probably do a Stage 6 effects uh, video on this car once I get access to a Foley Max one. And uh, good luck, everyone, this season. Uh, I'll... Uh, be looking forward to seeing how far you get and uh, how many of us will be running around in NASCARs in the uh, near future. If you like the video, please leave a like. Let me know that these videos are, are uh, well liked and appreciated. If you like my channel, please subscribe so you can get notifications when I put up new videos. As always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.